Hello everybody, welcome back to Shredding for the Wedding. My most requested video from you brides-to-be has been an arm video. You can see that I have these arm bands as opposed to dumbbells, so you can do all of these exercises with or without the weights, depending on how you feel. So whenever you're ready, join me on your mats. So we're gonna begin in a lunge position. Our arms are gonna go from bent to opposite directions across the room straight. Let's come up into a high lunge, relax your shoulders. If you need to take a break or modify and do this in a low lunge, of course you can. Otherwise, we're in a high lunge, scoop through the center, knit your ribs so it is Pilates. This will feel like a hinge with your upper body. Elbows are bent by the sides. We inhale to the side of the ribs to prepare. Press into your toes, exhale, one arm behind you, the other in front, and you hinge towards the ground using your abs. Let's inhale back to standing, exhale. Inhale, just warm it up. Let's do 10 on this side. Nine. Seven. Six. Five, use your core. Four. Relax your shoulders. Three, just a little movement with the elbows. And inhale, two. Woo, and one, nearly lost my balance there. You really have to focus on one spot. Now we're gonna straighten out the front leg. You can move the legs closer or further apart if you like. So find your position, scoop through the center, palms face back, bring the arms a little behind your back, shoulders down, find your pelvic floor, scoop and trace, knit your ribs in and down. So find that core work. We exhale to hinge, get a lift through the arms and inhale back to your starting position. Shoulders down away from the ears, exhale. And inhale, try to line your head up through your spine. Exhale. And inhale, get that hamstring stretch. Exhale. And inhale. Ooh, five more, really waking up our balance as well. And inhale. Four more. And inhale. Three more, and inhale. Two more, inhale. One, and breathe in. So from here, we're gonna bend the front knee again. Your arms are slightly behind your back. Scoop through the center, knit your ribs towards your hips, draw your shoulders down away from your ears. As we rotate, both palms are facing forward. We come out of the rotation and up to standing. Exhale and inhale. 10, exhale and inhale. Nine, exhale. Should have said glutes and arms today. Eight, exhale and inhale. Seven, that's Pilates for you. <laughs> gets everywhere and inhale six exhale enjoy that twist and inhale five scoop through the center we are notoriously bad at counting so i'm not sure if this is correct four exhale and inhale relax the shoulders three i think inhale two Last one on this side, exhale and inhale. You can go for a little stretch, bending the front knee or straightening it out, it's up to you. And then when you're ready, we'll swap it over. You're starting in your high lunge, but that can be modified. Scoop through your center, knit your ribs, starting with the elbows bent. We exhale, it's a hinge forward. The opposite arm to your front leg goes forward, the other arm goes back, and we lean. Inhale, come back to that high lunge, but avoid a back bend. Exhale, inhale, 10, exhale, inhale, nine, exhale, inhale, eight, steady with your feet, inhale. Seven, just let this gentle movement through the arms and the shoulders. Six, scoop through your center. Five. Four. 
three, steady with the middle of the body. Two, reach through both arms and inhale. Last one, exhale and inhale. Straighten out the front leg, both arms down by the sides, palms flip backwards. Scoop through your center to tuck your tailbone and knit your ribs in and down. Arms behind the back. So we are extending across the front of the shoulder. Scoop through the center, knit the ribs, lean forward and then we'll come back up. Think about the arms getting closer to the ceiling and then straightening out the spine again. Takes a lot from your balance. Eight. Seven. Try to get your body parallel with the floor, lifting the arms a little bit. And inhale. Six. Five. Four, scoop through the center. Three, two, nice and smooth. One, bend the front knee. We rotate both palms face forward, as low into that lunge as you're comfortable with. Then we come out of it and straighten the leg. Exhale and inhale. 10, exhale, and inhale. 9, exhale, and inhale. 8, exhale, and inhale. 7, exhale, inhale. Ooh. 6, exhale, both palms are forward, chest is open. Inhale, 5, Four, press into your big toe integrity through the foot. Three, two, last one. And you can go for a stretch with a bent knee or a straight leg. And then when you're ready, you can come down onto the mat. Let's go over our Pilates setup. Hip width between the feet and the knees, shoe size roughly or a little bit bigger, heels to glutes, and you can roll your back down onto the mat. Check your pelvis position. We imprint and arch, find the center for neutral. Your tailbone and the lower part of your sacrum are heavy. Middle of your back is heavy. Take a breath into the side of your ribs. Exhale, knit the ribs together. Keep the back of your rib cage, the bottom ribs heavy. Hands by your sides, crawl your fingers down the mat, your armpits draw down the sides of the body. Press your shoulders back to open up across your collarbones while keeping the middle of the back heavy, refraining from a rib flare. Breathe into the side of your ribs. Exhale, find your pelvic floor. Scoop and trace your belly up along your back and knit your ribs in and down. I have videos on my channel with your Pilates foundation if you want to go over any of this setup in more detail. Breathe in to prepare. With your exhale, use your center, steady your spine and lift your right knee into tabletop. Breathe in. Use your core to lift the left knee. Squash your knees and ankles together. You could modify by keeping your feet on the ground instead. Float your arms up to the ceiling. We want to make sure we have the alignment here. See the difference with my back? Lower ribs are heavy, so we're not flaring the ribs. Shoulders are down away from the ears. There's length across the collarbones. Squeeze your knees and ankles together. We inhale to open the arms out to the sides. We feel that lovely assistance from our weights. And we exhale, it's like we're hugging a tree. So keep length across the collarbones instead of just straightening the arms up to the ceiling. So we inhale and exhale. Squeeze your knees and ankles. Inhale, mid back heavy and exhale. Eight more, inhale and exhale. Seven more, inhale, feel that lovely stretch in the chest. Exhale, six, mid spine heavy. Five, let the breathing relax you. Four, squash your knees and ankles together. Three, Two, one, 
One. You can choose to keep your knees here, adding a bit more ab work in if you like. You can lengthen your legs at a diagonal. We're gonna go for little circles with the arms. Let's inhale straight up and exhale to circle around. Mid back is heavy. Five. Four. Three. Two, use your center. One, we reverse it. Inhale around. Exhale, slice down through the center. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bend the knees. We keep the mid spine heavy and the tailbone heavy. Inhale, reach the arms and the legs. Exhale, scoop through the center to come back to your starting position. Feel that shake in the abs, also working that flexion at the shoulder. Inhale and exhale. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, slow and controlled, three, remember your rib cage, the lower ribs are heavy, two, last one, embrace the breathing to relax your whole nervous system and you can hug your knees in. Rock your knees from side to side, let your head out from side to side, take a full breath in, Take a full breath out and you can center yourself. Use your hands to come forward or roll like a ball to come forward and we're in a seated position. Our feet are hip width apart and parallel. Our knees are hip width apart as well. But give yourself loads of space from your heels to your glutes this time. Let's float the arms in front. You're pressing into your feet enough to be very aware of their involvement, but not so much that it cramps your leg muscles. Pushing your heels into the mat and trying to drag the mat a little bit closer to your bum. Stretch the arms forward so your shoulder blades separate. The opposite of that, draw your shoulder blades together. In one direction, you feel your back rounding. In the other direction, you feel your chest opening. And we find the center. The arm weights are working us here as well. Draw the armpits down the sides of the body. Relax your neck. Actively check in with your neck throughout arm work, always. Find your pelvic floor, scoop and trace up along your back and knit your ribs in and down. Breathe in. Exhale, use your lower abs to tuck your tailbone. Knit your ribs in and down. So this is all our ab work here instead of feeling it in the back. You come out of it if it doesn't feel right. We're going to punch the left hand forward, drawing the right elbow back and your eyes can follow the right elbow. Let it twist through the center of the body and inhale. So here's where you want to be confident that you're in enough of a C curve to work the core but not annoy your back so it can be higher or lower. So when you're ready, C curve the spine, relax your shoulders, there's space underneath your chin. Let's exhale and inhale. Five, exhale and inhale. Four, exhale your eyes, follow your elbow and inhale. Three, exhale and inhale. Two, exhale and inhale. Last one, reinforce the core work and inhale. Second side and inhale. Exhale and inhale and inhale. Three more, two more, once more. Who said abs, <laughs> feeling them more than the arms. Let's lift the arms and lower. Also definitely working the core. Five, four, Three long breaths, two and one. 
chest is open. Let's come forward and lengthen out the legs, giving the legs a little bit of a break. You could cross the ankles over if that suits your back more. Otherwise, straightening the arms out in front. Scoop through the center, knit your ribs. I'm gonna turn so that you can see me a little bit better. We're opening the arms out to the sides and turning the palms down. Draw the armpits down the sides of the body. Scoop through the center and knit your ribs. Of course, be cross-legged if that suits you better. It's like you're sitting in cement, so you're on your sit bones, draw the armpits down. We're just gonna press the fingertips down to the ground and lift with the armpits draw down at the same time. So the shoulders are stuck way down away from the ears. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Flip the palms, draw the armpits down, open across your upper back and your chest using your core work. Inhale, back of the fingers to the floor and exhale like an offering. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. You can turn your palms down or up, whichever suits you better, little circles. Five, four, three, two, one. Reverse the direction. Five, four, three, woo, two, and one. Hug a tree, relax your shoulders. We're gonna go back to our C curve position. Bend your knees, scoop through your center, knit your ribs. Inhale to open, exhale to close. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Fingertips down onto the mat, cross your ankles, or you can come into this position any way that it suits you. Tuck your tailbone slightly, scoop through the center, knit your ribs in and down. So instead of a back bend, scoop through the center, knit your ribs. It's like you're trying to push your hips forward and just hip width the size of two fists between your knees, just so it keeps our pelvis a little closer to a neutral position. Hands by the sides, palms facing back, shoulders down away from the ears. Scoop through the center, knit your ribs. We feel the glutes, we feel the core. We're gonna inhale to raise the arms in line with your shoulders, keep your chest open. Exhale, you use your abs and knit your ribs and then extend the shoulder. So we make sure this doesn't happen. You scoop and knit the ribs. Inhale and exhale. Five, inhale and exhale. Four, use your core work. Three, Two and one. We inhale, you're gonna lean slightly back, only a little bit. So again, we don't wanna lose our alignment. You exhale, the arms come behind you. You're gonna rotate your head to the right. Inhale and lean. Exhale, arms come behind you, use your core work. Rotate to the left. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Once more each side. And you can relax that out. So we're coming onto all fours, hip width between your knees, the size of two fists, knees under the hips, hands under the shoulders, spread your fingers out nice and wide, line your head up through your spine, draw your shoulders down away from the ears, armpits down the sides of the body, back of the rib cage in line with your neck, pelvis is set up in neutral so we're not sticking the bone to the sky or tucking your tail too much it's in the middle press into the front of your feet feel your core react find your pelvic floor scoop through the center knit the ribs draw the armpits down inhale to prepare exhale lengthen your left leg out without your spine moving the right arm reaches in front we're going to bring the arm by the side and then reach it out in front again exhale and inhale five exhale and inhale, four, 
four, three, two, and one, I think, again, apologies. <laughs> Read the counting. So now we're gonna thread the arm through, but keep your legs steady, and we inhale back to our starting position. Exhale, and inhale. Four, exhale, and inhale. Three, exhale. You can bend that elbow as much as you like. Two, shoulders away from the ears. And one, bring the arm back down. Bring the leg back down. Scoop through the center and hit the ribs, draw the armpits down. Lengthen your right leg back. Reach through your toes, your ankle, your knee and your hip. Scoop the center, knit your ribs. Lengthening the left arm out, scoop. Keep the leg and the spine steady. Exhale, hand by the side. Inhale out in front. Five. <sighs> Four, three, two, and one. Thread the arm through and inhale. Five, exhale and inhale. Four, exhale. I was moving my leg a bit more on this side. Three, try to keep the legs steady. And inhale. Two, relax the shoulders. And inhale. One, lower the arm down, lower the leg down. And you can take a quick break in a shell pose. Breathe into your back. Exhale, let everything go. Breathe into your back. Exhale, let everything go. We're gonna come all the way down onto the belly. You can take your time. Can you open your legs a little wider than your hips and press into your legs? Tuck your tailbone slightly, so pressing the pubic bone or the front of the legs into the mat, and just hover the chest, lining your head up through the spine, and we can float the arms. We're gonna just move through the rotator cuff, so float them enough that you can move here without hitting the floor. <laughs> Tucking the tailbone, lifting the chest, the lower ribs are still on the mat. Let's exhale. And inhale, five, four, three, two, and one. The arms out by the sides. You can bring your legs a little bit closer together. You can move your back as little or as much as you want. Just make sure you're listening to your spine. So we're bringing the arms behind the back, extending your spine. And then we'll exhale back to the floor. Inhale and exhale. Five. Inhale and exhale. Four. Three. Two and. One, bend the elbows, we really feel the arms now. Press the elbows into the floor. You can bring your arms closer or have them further apart. We're just gonna push up to wherever it suits us. Draw the shoulders down so your neck is long, your neck is stacked above your shoulders. We're going to first of all, bring our bottom teeth in front of the top teeth. Then we're gonna lift the chin up and we're gonna push the lips forward as if you're trying to kiss the sky. So I won't be able to talk through it. So it's teeth, chin, lips. So it's just going to stretch out the front of the neck to relax our necks with the arm work. Shoulders down, reach through the legs. You could be closer to the mat. So teeth, neck, lips. Reverse it and come out. <laughs> teeth, neck. Let's do five. Four. Teeth, lift, kiss, out and down. Two. Last one. 
relax your shoulders, lower down through your spine, relax it out of your back, press back onto all fours, let your back adjust with a cat-cow stretch, take as long as you like, relax it out of your hips, your back, your shoulders, your neck, so maybe do some neck movements before you finish and then we're done. Thank you so much for joining me for this arm workout and loads of movement for your shoulders. Hope you feel great now in preparation for your big day. Repeat this class as many times as you like. Commenting, liking, subscribing will really help my channel. So I appreciate that in advance if you wouldn't mind hitting those buttons for me and I will see you next time.